Hello friends, day 66 of my challenge. This beautiful Friday afternoon. It's a little gray at areas, but the sun's trying to peek out. Hope you're all doing amazing. It is the weekend, what, what, what are y'all doing? Uh, let me know, uh, but I'm just going for a walk, my daily walk around my neighborhood. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so uh, it'd be nice to get out. But uh, today, I'm gonna try to keep it a little short, but uh, there's a, a quote that I heard, letting go is hard, hanging on is even harder. And I heard that, I was like, dang, that is so true. Oh, <laughs> hey, Donna, <laughs> you finally are, yeah. And so, uh, yeah, when I heard that quote, I was like, dang, that's definitely deep, that hits. Uh, and my, wh wh what is letting, what is not letting go of stuff doing for us, for you, or even for me? It's, uh, it's kind of like walking through life with a bunch of suitcases of stuff that we, we haven't worked through or haven't, uh, chose to let go. And, uh, but why do we do that, you know? Um, obviously I'm talking about metaphorically here, but even physically, like a few years ago, I was, uh, I moved three times in three years and for different reasons. However, every time I moved, I didn't realize how much of a, a pack rat I was. <laughs> I guess I, I, I picked up from my mom, I guess, hoarder, hoarding stuff. But uh, every time I moved, I got rid of half my stuff and the first time I moved, I was like, oh my gosh, I have so much crap I need to move. And it was just a lot of work and I don't want to do that again. So the next time I moved, I got rid of half my stuff. A lot of clothes I donated. I, the first time I donated like five boxes of clothes. I was like, holy smokes, how, how did I get that much clothes? And then uh, the next time I moved, I got rid of half my stuff again. And every time I did that, it just felt so freeing, like what you're saying, Donna, so freeing. And it was like a huge weight lifted off my shoulders. But, you know, but why do people hold on though? Why do you hold on to things? Uh, and typically when we do, it's typically we, we think that someone has wronged us or uh, some injustice of some sort, right? And I think, Maybe a big reason why people choose to hang on and not let go is humans in general, we love to be victims. We love to play the victim, don't we? <laughs> we want to want to prove that the other person uh, was the bad guy. And, you know, that that's kind of like, it's kind of like, what's the analogy? Uh, drinking poison and hoping the other person die. <laughs> uh, and so, you know, we all know it's not healthy, but how do we, how do we get through that, right? And uh, there's a story I heard. I'm not going to repeat it because I don't remember it all. <laughs> Actually, no, let me think about that. Hold on. Give me a second. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm not going to repeat the story. However, the gist of the story is, uh, just remember, however you got the blame game, yes, definitely the blame game. We love to blame, don't we? We don't want to be the reason for our undoing, do we? It's not very good for our ego, is it? <clears throat> but the thing is, uh, my belief is that everything that we go through helps shape who we are today. And really, instead of holding on to things that don't serve us anymore, why don't you choose to let it go? And obviously, uh, it's easier said than done. I get that. So you know, I'm not here trying to make you feel bad or anything like that. But hopefully to make you think about it. And sometimes, many times, the things that got you to where you are today may not be the same things that you need to help you get to where you want to be tomorrow. And so uh, my question is, do you want to move forward? Do you want a better life? Do you want to be happier? And you just, only you can answer that. If, uh, if, you're happier, if you're happier today than you were a year ago, then awesome. You're probably doing something good. Um, but if you're not, then maybe look in the mirror, ask yourself, you know, what am I holding on to that's not serving me? And then 
Because a lot of times to be able to move forward, we actually have to unlearn the, a lot of things that we learned. And, and sometimes uh, that's usually like the second step. Awareness is the first step of change. And then you got to unlearn a lot of stuff that we learned that don't serve us and then start to learn and pour the, stung, the stuff that's actually important to help us make progress. Uh, now you got to pour those things back into your cup. And then, but the, the thing is, as you, as you fill up your cup, you can start to uh, pour from your cup to help others. And even though it may suck in the moment or during the time that uh, uh, the situation that you're actually going through, it may not be fun, it might be enjoyable or feel like crap, but you know, I, I hope you learn how to let go of things and not bring those suitcases with you everywhere you go and every time you move somewhere. <laughs> Uh, you know, if, if you had suitcases with some wheels, it's not too bad, but imagine if you didn't have wheels. Oh my gosh, I had luggage, I didn't have wheels, that's why it came to my mind. <laughs> and every time I go on a trip, I'm like, ah, oh, why is this so heavy? And then, uh, I got, I got some luggage with wheels, so that was just a, a side thought. <laughs> anyway, that's all I wanted to share today. Hope you're all doing amazing. Hope you're having a, a great, um, you have a great weekend and I will see you tomorrow. What would?